Where are you, little guy? Oh, little sprite. Oh, why are you attacking me, man? I was just checking you out. Dang. You really need to calm down, son. That shit's not cool. What is up, everybody? It's Bloodstalker. And finally, I've been able to get on to the servers for Citadel Forged with Fire. That's right, we're here testing it out. This is the beta, this is basically the beta test for the client for Citadel Forged with Fire. Um, it's the second one. So now, basically, on July 26, in th less than three days, the game will open up for full access. You'll be able to buy, I mean, not full access, but still be in early access, but you'll be able to get it if you want. Which, I don't, so far, I, I'm digging the crap. I have not played it, but I've seen a lot of the previews for it and seen some videos. And the game looks freaking amazing to me. I don't know why. I just, I don't know why. I just love it. I'm trying to think what to make here. Do we go like a blonde here? Do we go blue hair? I'm going to go purple hair. Why not? Nails. Let's do matching nails. Can we go deeper purple? Eyes. We'll go green. Yeah, there you go. Now, anything you do in this pre... Thank you. Delete that back. Anything you do on the beta test carries over to the full release of the game. So that's kind of cool. Yes, I'm sure I want to create this character. So if you don't know, this game is made by Blue Isle Studio and Virtual Basement. Virtual Basement has a hand in Wildcard Studio along with, I believe, Dead, uh, Dead, um, Dark, uh, Dark and Light. I'm not 100% sure, but for the most part, you're seeing the... A, 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 oh, I can't even say the word. A clomagrant. That's not even the right word. You're seeing a lot of people play this, dude. <laughs> that's the only way I can say this. There's a lot of developers involved that are involved in a lot of their games. Now, they may not be the core developers. They may lay a hand or, feet, or piece into it, may create a background piece or core part of it. I don't know. But you're seeing that Dark and Light arc. You're seeing it in Citadel Forge with Fire. And some other games are going to be coming out later this year. The 2017 is supposed to have a lot of good games coming out, and a lot of them are towards the back half of the year. So starting now forward, we're going to start seeing these games release in full. So let's get a spawn. Um, yeah, I'll spawn here. I don't know where that is, but... Now this is strictly online. Um, it's going from July 22nd, 9 a.m. to midnight. I don't... I, I'm still... It's Sunday right now, so I don't know why... What the hell? Oh, that is a wicked intro. You just forged out of the fire for real. Forged with fire. Shit. That's awesome. My god, this this is just amazing. I know nothing about this game. I have not had a chance to test it out. I don't want to go walk in that, though. So you hit I for inventory, of course. We got some gear on. What happens when you take it off? Nothing. Oh, you go naked. That's funny. Alright, so your inventory is not that much. Now you have a spell book. You have an inventory for crafting. You've got your knowledge base. You've got your house management. Basically, like your, your tribes or clans or whatever. You've got your social information. You've got your creature list. This game is really insane. It's a very beautiful game as well. Very dark game as well. So, nighttime, Heathcliff. Safe zone. So, I'm in a safe zone. So, this is a PvP game. That's a lot of people have been kind of pissed off about it. I'm playing on a PvE server, though. You just, oh, I'm getting some framiness. All right, let's see what I can mess with the settings because I wasn't able to do a lot of this. All right, we're back at it. All right, I've got my settings. They seem to be a lot smoother now, changing just what I did. And if you want to know here, I'll show you real quick. I just basically took motion blur off. I've got everything else maxed out except for shadow quality. I put down to low, turned the bloom down just a hair, gamma up a little bit, brightness left the same, and that's pretty much about it. Now, audio, I'm going to turn this down just a hair bit. Not too bad, but... Yeah, I think I like, like it where it's at. So, again, I know nothing really about this game other than the video footage I've seen. There's a whole lot of stuff you can do in the game. What is this? Is it doing anything to me? No, I don't look like it. Oh, it was, it was healing me. If you look up in the top left, I was getting potion or something. I don't know what that's doing. That's craziness. I don't know how to harvest these. Not getting anything off of them. So down here in the bottom, you have K and C. You hit the S. You hit the P button to access your spell book. We shouldn't really have any spells. I did get a. I did get a level up. So let's go up in damage. I don't know. I just feel like I need to be hurt people. 
you know C carrying capacity probably would be an another good one all right so that's done so then we got k down here at the bottom which is our skill so we get to pick a new skill now we would do want to go melee or do we want to go staffs or gauntlets those are kind of look wicked unlock cost two where's it where's it? i got three points so everything's unlock cost of two. These are unlock cost of three, but level ten is needed. I think that's what your level is needed. God, there is so much, man. Um, I, I feel like to help us gather. Made the name of the golden fame for developing telekinesis. The one is most effective perform range attacks. Staff of the forest. I think we're gonna go. Staff is often used to cast area of effects. We're gonna go melee at first, I think. I just think we need to have that. I don't know why, but. So these are, I guess, like little knowledge spheres that tell you things. Oh, to open your crafting menu. I'm like, why is it selected on gold ingot? Okay, stone head X. So we need two stones and four pieces of wood. I have no idea where to get all this. This place looks sim freaking amazing, though. Call it. Kate opened the knowledge table. We did that. All right, so here you have, but you also have, like, your items. We got utilities. Oh wow, so we can learn. There is so much to learn. Health, file, structures, wood floors. Holy crap. Spells. Oh man, this is so overwhelming. This is so cool. Alright, we're gonna learn the wood floors. Now I don't know how much of this is going I don't know how they're gonna carry it over. I don't know anything and what their plans are. I know that I'm gonna play this game. Um, I don't typically like playing just solely online games. That's craziness. What is that? This place is so freaking cool looking. Um, I usually don't play online like that because of the simple fact it's hard to do videos. Is that like a barrier it looks like? Huh. What's up here? Look at that, man. The ma it looks amazing. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. This game just, just looks cool as hell. So I guess it's like your spawn point starting point. What you got here is you got a re um, like a restoral place where you can get healed up. You got some knowledge crystals. I'm getting some framiness now when I look. But just like normal, shift does your run. Tab to, tab takes you out to this. Oh, look at the way she runs. It looks kind of derpy. Look at her. It's so funny. All right, get out of that view. So, do these have any function? Is there anything up here I need to be going after? It doesn't really look like it. I don't see anything. So, let's go ahead and go down. Oh, the framiness is real. Alright, we're going to turn some things else, some, some other stuff down. I was running smoother, but... Again, the full screen does not help out the frames. I mean, when, you, when you're doing a windowed full screen, it... Oh, that's still some bad... Still a little framey. Alright, we're going to have to do it. Sorry about going back and forth like this, but we got to do it. Is there anything else we can turn down? Probably have to do resolution scale. I'd or initially turn that down. There we go. Let's see if that helps out any. I'm going to have to do the same thing in dark and light. I've, I've played with it a little bit, but still need to do more. Okay, so like, we need to make some a weapon or something, don't we? Let's see if there's anything down here. The only thing we picked up is mushrooms. We got one level. There's some more mushrooms. Now, some of this could be because it is in beta, too. It's going to get better. Is this as far as I get to go? What happens if I touch it? Well, I can touch it. What is that? Oh, that must be... Okay, so I guess PvP in the PvE. Now, this is not a PvP world. This is a PvE server. Who would? I can't pick up the big lot. Oh, I'm getting so much frames. I'm getting a lot of experience for picking stuff up. Yeah, this needs a little bit of optimization. I need some more stones. Alright, can I craft it now? There's our inventory. Let's go to crafting. Let's craft that sucker up. Ooh, we got a weapon now. We're, we're hot shit. You better back up. Wow, does it take some time to craft a weapon. Now, is it going to go down here automatically? No. Now it does. Okay, now can I harvest? Where'd that little rock go? Alright, what does B do? Okay, so wood, magic, delete. What does that mean? I don't understand what that means. 
Oh, that's your building. You can build with this? Oh, that's kind of cool. Can I harvest these crystals with it, though? I really feel like I need to harvest these. Nope. So you kind of suck. What about the bigger rocks? I keep wanting to hit tab for inventory. Yeah, I'm not getting anything off of them. There's some trees down here we could waylay on. Yeah, that's not doing crap. Oh, I love it. Now, be between looking at this game and looking at more mushrooms, yeah. Looking at this game, looking at dark and light. Dark and light's a little bit more polished, but again, I'm not. You can't really compare them to the same equivalently, just for the simple fact that dark and light is way a little bit further along than this one is. This game is just in their beta testing. There's a lot of things they're going to work on from just from the testing weekend because they got a lot of good feedback. They got a lot. I mean, it got mostly negative reviews, but. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know why people do that. I really don't. They're opening the game up for free for beta testing and people still trash the game when they just want good feedback. If you can't provide constructive criticism, so I can't chop trees down? Really? You don't need to ch chop trees? I don't know. I'm picking up all these ghost orchids. Man, this. I'm sorry for the framiness. I'm really going to have to figure out what to do. And it might, like I said, it might get fixed in the development. Someone built a base down here, it looks like. What is that? Where are you, little guy? Oh, little sprite. Oh, why are you attacking me, man? I was just checking you out. Dang. You really need to calm down, son. That shit's not cool. So I got some fairy dust and light essence. Can I harvest your meat? Can I eat you? I mean, you look pretty delicious, honestly. I guess that's a no. So this is somebody's house. This is kind of cool. Lady B. Jackson. Hmm. Neat, neat little structure. No roof on it. That's funny. All right. There's another. Sp what the hell is this up here? What are you, you going to fight again? I'm about dead. This might be a short video. Oh no, my health's full. Okay, good. Okay, let's let's take control of ourselves here. Let's see. We need to go to our stats. Where are those at? Not, not inventory. They're over here. So we want to do. Wow, our damage is forty-eight now. Carrying capacity. Um, we want to do a skill. Let's see. I think we need to go with magic. Oh crap! Where are you at? Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Oh, there you are, you little... Come here. Come back here. Oh, you killed me. You... Mm. I want to put my foot somewhere on you so bad right now. So we spawned there. I'm just really going to kind of explore around. Because this is just wanting to see what the game's like. So here's where we spawn at here. Again, these look really cool, how you spawn in. Because you're like forged with fire. Oh, wow, this is a really cool looking spot, too. I will give their spawn villages look really good. And you don't lose your stuff either. That's kind of cool. Wait a minute. Do I have all my stuff? No, I don't. I just have what's on my hotbar. Okay. I dig that. Why does it give me like that icon? Okay. So let's go to crafting. Can I craft the uh, weapon staff of the force now? I need a rune crystal, which I had a rune crystal. Son of a... Maybe we should have just started off where we were. There should be a rune crystal around here. Because that's where I, f I found one at my spawn point. Surely they give you one right off the bat. Let's go ahead and get some mushrooms. I don't know if we can eat these, but they give good experience. Go on, give me it. Do all of it. Get that wood. I just can't believe you can't really harvest things. It's weird. Alright, so I don't see a rune crystal. God, there's a ton of resources, though. Maybe there were around that other one. I just didn't know to look for them. Alright. Here's our healing pool. So you have constant regen on. So that's... I like... I kind of like that. It's it's that more of that MMO-style game. Let's see here. Can I find a crystal again? Surely there's one up here. 
World is dangerous, caves, ruins, more. Enter B mode. So this is your build. Oh, that was your building mode. That's what I entered in earlier. Now I see why I was confused. Well, look at all that. Well, there's like a huge. What is it like a bridge or what is that? That is a giant ass bridge. I wonder if some somebody had to have built that. That is freaking hilarious. All right, let's go check out the giant bridge because that is baller. All right. Can I sneak down here without dying? How I just did that. It didn't take any damage either. That's awesome. So it looks like people have been building their asses off. I really want to find out how to harvest you guys. So some, this is hilarious. So someone actually built this giant ass bridge. I'll give them credit. This is pretty cool. They did a good job at it. I don't know what the purpose of it is, but got a tree running right through it. So how, somehow they cut trees down together. Wood. They didn't just pick up wood for this. Oh, that was weird. Well, what goes up here? Somebody had a lot of time on their hands and was bored, I guess. Oh, it looks like it's starting to decay or something. Oh, I took damage on that one, didn't I? Yes, I did. All right, I guess we're done because I can't go any further. Let's go this way and see what happens. Dude, look at the size of that freaking mushroom over there. Oh, I hear sprites. We hate sprites. We're going to kill sprites. It goes to his... Wow! Now, that's a base. Someone did a cool job building that. Hey, check this out. Pershawn, you, you're a badass. Did a good job, man. It looks good. All right. You played way too much, though. <laughs> oh, there he is right there. There's a one right there. There's a bunch of them around here. Oh. Rune crystal. Is like a Slender Man? What the hell is that walking? Oh, it's a... Uh, <laughs> making sure nobody's sneaking up on behind me. Let's craft something real quick. All right. Let's see if we can craft this damn weapon. Yes, we can. I want to see if it does better with these guys, because this axe sucks. Oh, there's a wolf, dude. Check it out. Well, I got a lot of XP for that, too. All right, let's get that equipped. All right. So I got to learn magic now, too, don't I? Do I have any points to spend in magic? Let's do spells. Protection unit to combat. Mana Blast. Why not? Let's learn that. P to open spell menu. So we're going to equip that. So you can clip up to two spells. That's cool. Alright. We only got 89 mana now though. Ooh, that mana goes down fast. Ooh, that was cool. Took him down pretty quick. Fur pelt. So I guess you can't really like you just take their you just take their gear off of them. You don't like harvest them up or anything like that. Oh, another another crystal. Oh no, there we go. So I don't know what to tell you about this man. This game looks pretty cool. It's got a lot of it's got a lot of potential. Um, I don't know if the performance issues are mine. I don't have a crappy PC, so I mean, legitimately, I shouldn't be having too bad of problems. But again, I like to run everything maxed out. That's my problem. So my mana still hadn't gone back up. So how do you get your mana back up? Do I need to eat something? Distinctly orange mushrooms that grow everywhere from the southern ice. These mushrooms can be mixed to create powerful elixirs to replenish mana. Okay, so I can make a mana potion out of that. Knowledge. Let's see. Okay, that was clicking. Let's go back to our character here. Didn't get a level. So spells, structures, unity. So mana, we need to create that. We can't learn it yet. We need to get a level first. Oh, why are you running, homie? Takes 10 per, per hit. It does a pretty good amount of damage, too. It's not a bad little first spell, I think. I mean, I'd like to have Fireball or, you know, Death from Above or some shit. But, hey, it is what it is.
Now we can walk back over here to the restoral pool and get our mana and everything back up. So I think we might head over there real quick while we're just kind of goofing around. There's a lot to do in the game. There's a lot of building you can do. Appa uh, clearly you can see the building is epic in this game as well. So, I mean, it's, other than the framiness I'm getting, and I, I am so sorry. I, I went back and watched that Dark and Light video. I didn't realize how bad it was in, in the recording on it either. Oh, look at all these. I could have came out this bottom gate and would have been fine. It usually, it seems to be really bad when I'm running. But it's still there regardless. And I don't know if NVIDIA can optimize for it or not. Oh, safe zone. Now, this, is, this just means that no bad guys will get us over here. I think it's also safe when it's in a PvP world, which, like I said, we're not. So we're still at 7. So your mana does not go up for shit. You have to... You really need to focus spending your points on crafting mana potions, really. Now let's see if this will make it go up. Just makes my health go up, it looks like. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, I thought this would help us. I mean, what the hell? Well, crap. So we gotta make a mana potion. We gotta get a level. Well, wait a minute. Is this mana? Oh, this is mana. Okay. So there's a blue and a red one. One's health, one's mana. Sweet. So yeah, I'm kind of digging this, man. This game is pretty cool. As far as, like, overall impression of the game, I think there's a little bit of bugs that need to be worked out. But again, this is, this is open beta. And it's now... Technically, the game should be closed by now. I don't know how I'm still on here. And everything I do may not carry over because it was, it was supposed to end at 9 a.m. Or midnight, I'm sorry. It was supposed to end at midnight that, on Saturday. Today, like I said, today's Sunday. So somebody left the servers open. There was nobody playing, so I just dumb luck got in. I don't know how I did it. I don't know. And I might be telling on myself, and I, I apologize for telling on myself. But I've been really wanting to check this game out. So let me know what you guys think. Have you watched any videos on it? There's been a lot of people have been playing it. Um, I would say check out a lot of, check out as many videos as you can about it to get a good opinion of it because it's a different type game. I mean, we're seeing games like this come out more and more often where it's kind of, where our, our, our sandbox survival, you know, open world type games are now getting created as in MMOs and RPGs together and stuff. And it's really creating a whole new genre in my opinion. It's creating a genre of games that are pretty damn awesome and have great, great freaking potential. It does look a little washed out. I do have my gamma up a little too high, I think. Yeah, that's better. Oh, yeah, that looks a lot prettier. Yeah, I had my damn gamma up too high. Sorry about that. Dude, this game's just awesome. Oh, look at that little hole from where we're standing. This is neat. I'm very impressed with it, and it's it, it looks like it's going to be pretty good. So I'm going to keep an eye on the game. You're probably going to start, when it comes out full release, you'll probably start seeing it on the channel as well, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. My problem right now is dark and light. I am so ate up with that game, and I, I just cannot even begin to tell you how awesome it is. Did they really busted their ass on building that bridge? That shit is so hilarious. Anyway, guys, I've been Bloodstalker. This has been Citadel Forged with Fire. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about it, what you've seen on it. Let me know your thoughts and opinion on it. I mean, I love the game so far. I think it's going to have a lot of potential. Um, I'm not going to be like jump all over the bandwagon and buy the game, buy the game. I would say definitely keep an eye on this game for right now just to see where it's going to go. Because it's going to go good. I guarantee that's going to be a thing. Look at all that. This is just so freaking awesome. Anyway, guys, till next time, peace out, y'all.